Okay, I'm pleased to say I'm with Brian Barth here at the Dublin Castle. He's, he's going to be going on later with the KT Bush Band. How's it going, Brian? Uh, so far, so good. It's been, uh, very busy. We've been here a long time and it's uh, taken us a long time to do it. I was actually in the zoo earlier, so... Oh, uh, right. You, you... Well, in the car park, actually. Right, so you've been seeing the sights of cameras well, the now. parking restrictions are quite bad, yeah. Oh, I see. Sorry, what's your name? Howard. Howard. Yes. Sorry, Howard. Did we just see uh, Peggy? We have. Who's been here for ages and she, she was here at the original Madness, is that right? Yes. Uh, her and her husband oh, yeah. booked Brilliant. the band originally, yes. Okay, and sorry, yeah, band. yeah. So, well, it would be around about the time that you were doing your first gigs with Kate Bush, I think, in the late 70s. That yeah, would be around yeah. the same time oh. that Madness were playing their first She's still here. Shows. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Part of the building blocks, yeah. That's right, yeah. So, so I believe you are an original member of the Kate Bush Band, is that right? That's right, yeah. The, yes. the Katie Bush Band, as we're called now. This is yes. the, kind of another version, if you like. Yes. And um, we used to play at the, um, uh, the Rose of Lee, as, as, as it goes. Ah, uh, it's in many books and websites. It's mentioned all over the place. In Lee Green. Yes. And uh, that's where... Kate did her first shows with us, yeah. Ah, right, okay, yeah. so not too far away. No, no, in uh, near Catford, Lewisham. Yes. That area, yes. yeah. All right, and at that time, were you doing any shows in places like Camden Town as well? We did actually come up to Camden. We played, now, I can't remember the place. It's a shame Vic isn't with me. Um, we played it near Camden Lock. There was a, oh, okay. a, like a pub on the corner there somewhere. Yes. Uh, I don't know if they still do gigs. I can't remember the oh, name of the Could place. be the Lock Tavern or something? No, I don't think it was Perhaps. that. But it's Wings of Bell, yeah. Okay, yes. There, a lot of pubs have changed their name around. They're, they're still there, some of them, but some have changed their name around there. Yes. Okay. All right, so you did come up to Camden, that's Yep, cool. we so sure back. did. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, that yes. was 77. Yes. And then, uh, then there was the uh, rise to fame of Kate, um, yes. the overnight, really. Um, we did you do the first tour with, with Kate? Were you on? I was with the, the, the only tour she's done. Yes. Proper with, tour. With the, band, um, yes. the European tour, with the, uh, the Tour of Life, it was called. Yes. And uh, we went all around Europe and... Uh, uh, yeah, and that that was just tremendous, unforgettable, really. I mean, it, yes. it, you know, it was all all um, quite an eye opener, really, for everyone. I can imagine, and yes. Great, great venues. You know, lots of theatres all around Europe, and we've even pl we played at the uh, Liverpool Empire, which was a massive buzz where the Beatles oh, yes. used to play. Oh, so yes. the Beatles have been here. You know. <laughs> and then after that, or before that, we, I think it was after that, we went to. Um, Abbey Road Studios yes. to record Never Forever the album. Oh, well, yes. I was there and Del was the bass player in the Katie Bush band, and uh, we recorded there. You know where the Beatles were, and we were there for weeks. Oh, yeah. I had all my guitars there, and yes. tremendous. Bass. Yes, because you, you played on Kate's albums as well as yes, yeah, yeah, and some yes. singles. The first one I played on was Wow, which was a third single, I believe. Yes, and that was recorded in Nice, up in the mountains, in Super Bear. Oh gosh. And uh, uh, that was uh, that was some feat of really. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. How did so, it work? Did you do all the instrumental parts first, and then Kate would add a vocal, or did it vary? It, it kind of in those days, it was really the band was in the studio. Yes. Uh, uh, there were overdubs, but the band we, we actually worked as a band in the studio, and through uh, Never Forever as well. And some of the, because the tour band was virtually the band on the Never Forever album. Ah, okay. Um, yes. So we kind of retained that con continuity, if you like. Yes. Uh, and it was always great working with the band. And, uh, yes. But you'll hear some stories tonight, so you have to get your your radio right. fans <laughs> to come along. They can hear some of the stories. But the yes. schedule is quite tight tonight, so yes. we've had to trim the set down. Quite oh, right. Yes. So to bring it up to the present day, so you've kept in touch with some of the musicians with some of the musicians of that time and yeah. you've been continuing the music of Kate Bush and yeah. you have a, a vocalist tonight Sally Ann yeah we've got Sally Ann Hurst uh, one of the greatest singers around I mean she's, yes. well you'll hear her later I mean, yes. she's she's worth the entrance fee alone you know just to listen to her warbling if you like <laughs> yes well it's certainly <laughs> challenging to she to sings singing. most of kate's songs in the original key i yes. think there's about two or three that she doesn't sing in the original key ah, right, if so. that so she can 
get to those those old you know pictures of the songs yes. which is great yes. yes and who are the other band members you've got with you well we've got Pete Turtle on drums yes. and uh, he he swims in the sea all the other he's a turtle right. he's a, <laughs> and it's a water thing because you're yeah, a prime bath yeah, bath, so bath, yeah yes. there's, a, there's a water theme <laughs> yes Hurst is that water no Thirst Thirst is water <laughs> um, but um, uh, we got yeah we've got Pete Turtle on drums yep. great drummer um, and we've got Steve Bevan on uh, bass guitar and okay. he plays a bit of mandolin yes uh, just to cover the songs and i right. do a little acoustic piece as well yes and uh, we have the uh the wonderful uh, manny hill on keyboards tonight right. uh, our usual uh, player is um emily francis but okay. she's, she's busy doing something else tonight so but right. we've got manny hill who's our debt player and he he's coming on keyboard duties which is great we were on telly the other day bbc yeah on the 6.30 news. Okay, right. Just the, a local studio. That yes, the London News. Yeah. Changing the subject, the people still <laughs> jumping the lock at Camden. I remember one summer I was up here and um, there were people jumping in the lock. They great. might do, I've not seen it myself, but I wouldn't be surprised. And I did a gig on a, on a, a canal boat once, oh, okay. going around Regent Park. Oh yes. And it was a film crew and, and I was entertaining the film crew, which was oh, quite... Right. And we went around the back of London Zoo, which was a yes. real buzz. That's right, the canal goes all the way around the back. Brilliant, yes. yeah. yeah. So you, you have some good memories of Camden Town? Oh years? yeah, yeah, special, yeah. It's yes. fabulous. You've got a great market up here and everything. It's still here, That's isn't right. it, all that? It is, yes. I must come up here. I'll, maybe I'll come up here this summer again, definitely, yes. yeah. Yeah. Now tonight, can people expect a set list from the whole range of it's, the repertoire? Well, mainly it's the early days. Okay. We're doing the early days, you know, yes. from uh, the first album, the second album, a uh, bit the third. We do one fairly recent, but mainly it's the early music. Okay. Plus there's a couple of my songs in there. Right, okay. Um, which the songs we used to play in the pub. Yes. Uh, at the pubs in the old days. Because ah, we only, yes. didn't only play the Rosalie, we played several many other pubs right. as well, okay. for about three months or so. I see. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And you've, you've been very active over the years yourself with different projects? Yes. Well, yeah, I'm doing loads of things. I've got an album with, uh, I did a, a few years back now. Right. Um, I've got, got it with me tonight. You'll have to get a copy. Okay. I'll, I'll have to go and uh, bring them in. I've, I've forgotten them. In fact, I'll do that in a minute. Yes. <laughs> so after tonight, have you got some more tour dates planned? Yeah, we got a few. We got a, uh, a few fairly sporadically. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit loud, right? Here. And because uh, uh, we, we lost a lot of momentum during the COVID, yes. I think a lot yes. of people did in clubs and part, but everything everywhere did, didn't they? Really. Yes. But uh, we've got a few. Like the the biggest kind of gig we've got coming up is oh, we're at the Dublin Castle, but we're actually playing at the Lincoln Castle, the oh, actual okay. castle, oh, right. in um, <laughs> August. And oh, that so that should be it should be a, about three thousand there or something. Yeah. Yes. So hopefully we'll pick up some good gigs from there onwards, and we're doing a few theatres and stuff yeah well, sounds like a busy summer then yeah well you can look it on the um it's katiebushband.com that's the website okay and yeah. uh, my website's brianbath.com where you can get my album the peckham boys which i'll be bringing in to um soon i must ask are you from peckham and i was brought up in peckham ah, from okay. about the age of two or three up to um just round about the about to I was about eleven, I guess. Then, right. okay. then I moved to kind of the Greenwich area. Ah, okay. So, um, but I was born in Greenwich, but I bought yes. up in Peckham. So there's lots of stories on the album. It's called <laughs> the Peckham Boy. It's all about all right. Peckham. Yeah. So you are a London boy, very much. Oh yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Still here. <laughs> did you get, as we're in the Dublin <laughs> Castle tonight, did you get to meet Madness back in the day? Or? No, I didn't meet Madness. I met m many of the other bands. Yes. I mean, local to me were the, the band Squeeze, the, ah, uh, right, yes. the most local. And I was talking yes. to a journalist earlier this week who's uh, um, interviewing me for the Uncut magazine, yes. just asking me for little bits and trifles here oh, yes. and there. Yes. And uh, he, he, uh, we, they, their name come up because I know yes. Glenn and uh, a little bit, you know, yes. Glenn Tilbrook. Oh, yeah. He's a nice guy, and, and uh, Chris Difford, who's got a great bio yes. there, actually, if you want to read that. Oh, yes. Plug, plug. And uh, uh, the, the, about the song, the, the, the uh, Call for Cats. Do you remember oh, yes. that song? Yes. Where they mentioned the Sweeney. That's right, yes. And Kate's Wow mentions the Sweeney in, in the uh, Wow song. Okay, so there's Which a... uh, you may hear tonight. Yes, that's right. Which can't let the secrets out. No, no. So, yes. Actually, did you come across uh, Dire Straits? Because they were in that area. 
Uh, I did meet them. Uh, I didn't didn't actually. I don't know them. I didn't hang out with them. But they were at the, one of the studios we used to use, Woodwolf, which is not no longer there, sadly. Oh yeah. In Greenwich, that was a rehearsal studio. Yes. And we used that with Kate before the tour of Life. Okay. Um, yes. And we spent. We did extensive rehearsals there, and then yes. when the dancers come in and the, the whole razzmatazz, we went yes. over to um, um, uh, the Who's studio in oh, Shepperton yes. Studios, okay, yes. and they've got this big sound stage we used there. Yes. And then all the dance, there was a couple of dancers that come in, and Kate had miraculously worked out these routines, and they put these huge mirrors up opposite yes. where we were playing on this big stage. So we could see the show, how the show was working. Ah, that was yes. marvellous, you know. Yes. So we were there every day for a couple of weeks or something, you know. Yes. Yeah. Great. Well, it was great to speak to you and hear about your Howard. background. Yes. yes. Nice to meet you, Howard. Yes. <laughs> Good uh, luck with the show. Thank you. We wish you the best tonight at the Dublin Castle. Awesome. It looks like it's going to be it's very busy already in the foyer. So yeah. Uh, Don't forget katiebushband.com. That's where we are. You can check out yes. further dates and little snippets of information here and there. That's right. Actually, before we go, has Kate herself seen the band? No, no, she doesn't. She doesn't dwell in that area. Ah, okay. So, so she can't really go in places. She get, yes. She gets, well, <laughs> She'd have to go in disguise, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Brian Bath on Camden Town Radio. Keep rocking. <laughs>